Good morning, I'm Ainsley, and today is Wednesday, November 9th, and you make this world a better place. Now to the pledge. Please stand and put your right hand on your heart as we recite the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now to Splash! It's time for Splash Expectations. This is your daily reminder to be respectful, responsible, and safe. Let's hear it. Expectations, we've got three. At PGE, we pledge to be respectful, responsible, and safe. I pledge. If you get a Splash ticket, be sure to write your first and your last name and your teacher's name on the ticket. And be sure to put it in the correct bucket outside of the library. Now to birthdays. Our weekend birthdays were Holland McChesney, Ephraim Say, Tyrell Barner, Scarlett Arnold, Lucas Carnell, and Scott Turner. Today's birthdays are Adelaide Dungan and Adley Merle. Let's give them a big birthday shout out. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Now to Word Up Wednesday. Thank you. Our word today is veteran, someone who has or is currently serving in the military. How can you show gratitude to our veterans? Now, back to broadcaster. Thank you. Today is Wednesday, November 9th. Our character trait for November is gratitude. It is an orange special area day, late bus duty, kindergarten. Let's find out what's for lunch from Danny the Dolphin. Thank you. Today for lunch, we will have chicken nuggets and muffin wild Mike's cheesy bites. For the fruits, we have chilled strawberry cups, fresh apple slices, and our vegetables will be broccoli and cheese, carrots, and marinara cup. That sure sounds yummy. Be sure to follow all the rules at all times while in the lunchroom so your class can earn a monster. Now back to broadcast. Thank you, Danny. Now to a message from Miss Egan. Thank you so much. Well, it is going to be Veterans Day on Friday, and we've been talking about gratitude this month. And what better way to show gratitude than to thank a veteran? A lot of you with your buddies, you wrote some cards that we are going to deliver to veterans, and I know they will greatly appreciate it. Another way to show gratitude is that if you see a veteran, go up and thank them for their service. That's a simple way um, to show them that you truly appreciate what they have done and the sacrifices they make. They make. On Friday for our program, if you have patriotic colors, please wear them. So that would be red, white, and or blue. Okay, so it'd be nice to uh, have those patriotic colors in the gym for our Veterans Day program. Tomorrow, is our Veterans Day rehearsal. So you will have your special area during your regular time. It's a non-color day, but will be regular time, but you'll come to the gym with your grade level so we can practice the song and go through a lot of things. And then we have a lesson, a Veterans Day lesson for you also tomorrow during your special area. Teachers, I know a lot of you are getting questions from parents as to if they're veterans, uh, they didn't get the invitation or were wondering if they were invited. In the Dolphin Cove, I have a link to the veterans that were invited to the program. That was a list of who submitted the form, and it also has which program they're attending. Now, our morning special area classes, the program will be at 10 a.m. on Friday. The afternoon special area classes will be at 1. However, some of you have siblings that are in different grade levels. Most of those will attend the afternoon program, but if you look on that document, it will tell you AM or PM. That w that's the program that the veterans invited to. So if, if you're getting questions from parents, just take a look at that document, and hopefully that will answer the question. And please extend our invitation and sincerest apologies if they're on that list and for some reason did not get their invitation. And I think that is all. So we're going to go back to Ainsley. Thank you. AR celebration today. Clocks are off by an hour. Please keep that in mind. Clops, clocks should be on time Thursday. Archery tryouts for 4th and 5th graders on Monday, November 14th from 6 to 8. Teachers, check the Dolphin Co. for important information. Please post attendance at this time. Please donate your items for f our food drive by November 11th. Kindergarten, stuffing mix, first grade, mac and cheese, second grade, cornbread mix, third grade, green beans, fourth grade, instant potatoes, and fifth grade, corn. 
That's it for announcements. Now it's time to learn so you can create a world of opportunities.